What is up, coaches? It's COVID-19 workout number two. So in the first workout, we focused on a full body strength routine. In today's workout, I'd like you to go outside as this is going to be a more volleyball specific speed and power type of workout. Now, if you're someone that has knee issues, jumper's knee, patellofemoral syndrome, any of that stuff, I would recommend not doing this workout. This is for someone that's got healthy knees and ankles that's ready to put in some fast twitch type of movement. So first, I'm gonna take you through the workout and then I'll give you detailed video demos of all the exercise. Let's go. So our first exercise will be multi-directional stability jumps. Then you got band resisted approach or just approach to jump paired with banded star drill. So we're pairing a lot of athletic exercise with shoulder health exercise. You got jumping lunges and, and a cable external rotation. I'd recommend just using a resistance band. And then we got figure eights. And our last exercise that we have is falling start sprints. Let's go. First dynamic exercise are single leg stability jumps. So now these aren't about being jumping high and explosively. This is about stability and control. It's really working on your braking mechanisms when you land to stabilize. So we're trying to make sure that knee's not falling in, that foot is stable when it hits the ground, and she contracts and locked in. So what she's gonna feel is her muscles starting to burn. Sophie, are muscles burning? Yep. Yeah, and so you're gonna feel those muscles activating. And so this is really important to do before we get into our explosive work, making sure those muscles are working well, making sure those stability patterns are in place so that when you're actually jumping higher from all your performance improvements that you've made, you're also landing with good stability and control. And so if you can turn around and okay, switch. So for this block, we've got band resisted approach paired with banded star drill. For band resisted approach, you'll either use two low resistance bands or two medium resistance bands. You'll perform three hard approaches followed by taking off the band and performing two max approaches to jump. If you don't have these resistance bands, then just perform five max approach to jump, okay? And so this is also paired with our banded star drill. So we got an approach drill paired with a shoulder health exercise. Good. Big step. Good. Drive and cover distance. Drive and cover distance. Good. Good, now take it off. Feel light. Drive, cover distance, fast arms. Soft, good. Drive, cover distance, fast arms. And with your palms facing down. You're gonna pull your shoulder blades back, retracting them, pulling them together and squeezing as hard as you can. You're then gonna do the same thing on an angle across your body. Once again, we're only focused on the movement coming from our shoulder blades. We're focusing on a lot of shoulder blade movement and getting a strong contraction in the muscles in your upper. In this block of exercise, we have jumping lunges paired with cable external rotations. You can just use a band for the external rotations instead. Um, for the jumping lunges, this is a pretty advanced level exercise. If you're someone that's like new to working out or younger, um, Power skips might be a better option for you. I'll give you a video demo of both. But basically, if you start doing jumping lunges and you're like, holy smokes, this is way too tough, power skips is a great alternative for you to use. Jumping lunges focus on building strength one leg at a time, improving our arm drive. It also really helps develop our core stability as well. When you're sinking down into your lunge, you want to be preparing your arms behind your back with your palms facing upwards. As you drive through your heel, you want to focus on a powerful arm drive to accelerate your body up into the air. When you're in the air, you're going to switch your legs and you're going to land soft. This exercise is called power skips. This is a great exercise for developing lower body power. So I'm going to back up a little more so I have more room. So check out my action here. So I'm going to go opposite arm, opposite leg, but I'm going to explode through. So you wanna think it's both rhythmic and powerful. So when I'm jumping, my arm leads the jump. I actually kinda of wanna think there's, a, there's a, a string attached from my elbow to my knee. So when I drive up, they come up together. So if you watch me together, you can see how my arms and legs are working together and trying to explode up. This exercise is called a cable external rotation. So Sophie's gonna set up with her elbow touching her hand at the side of the body. So you just wanna focus on it's just the shoulder rotating out. So she's not pulling with her hand, it's just the shoulder externally rotating and you're gonna feel the tension on the back of her shoulder. So on the back side of the shoulder here, the reason why her hands here is we don't want the elbow coming away from her body. So the elbow staying glued to the side of her body, just focusing on the rotation just happening at the shoulder joint. Our first lateral drill is called figure eights, but before you go, let's review. Good volleyball posture, that's a good athletic posture. Breathing, you're very nice and relaxed. 
high gaze force. So start going into figure eights, and we're working on that push, right? That push is really important, and shoulders need to stay the same height. So freeze for a second. So when she, when Sophie's moving that way, she's driving off her left leg, you should feel that left move go. So drive that way, go around, good, come back, stop. If she's going this way, the right leg or the right glute produces the power to get around. Good, stop. So we do anywhere like four figure eights and then rest. Four figure eights and then This rest. is called a falling start sprint. It's not an overly complicated exercise. What's gonna happen, Ryan here is gonna start falling forward and then catch himself and accelerate into a sprint as fast as he can. So he did that one at about 50% speed. We'll show you next him doing it at 100%. So basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna fall, 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 and then you gotta catch yourself and you use this momentum to really accelerate yourself in the sprint. So let's watch him one more time here at full speed. He's gonna fall, catch his foot, and go. I really appreciate you tuning into this workout. Um, a way that you could do me a favor is just sharing this content. The more people that could be seeing the workouts and doing the workouts, the absolute better. Anyways, guys, I'll release a new workout soon, and I'll catch you guys later.